And now your TV5 first alert forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. Well, it's a mostly quiet evening for us and a warm one as well. Temperatures in the 50s and thankfully no rain to deal with this evening. That comes tomorrow morning. Your first alert pinpoint Doppler live from MBS shows us that there's no rain out there at all. We just have some of the cloud cover out there. This will be the picture that we see as we head into the rest of the evening hours for us. Now the only issue that we really have this evening is some of that fog out there creating lower visibilities and a lot of that is across the north. We did talk about this some yesterday, uh, keeping an eye on some of those uh, lower visibilities that we have and particularly it's for those areas north of the bay. If you get north of the Tri-Cities on I-75 going up to the north, you might have some of those lower visibilities. Same goes for our US-127 communities. And so most of these visibilities have still been greater than a mile. So not super dense fog, uh, but enough to that might cause some travel issues. Just plan on a few extra minutes. You see here across the rest of the area to the south where we don't have much of that snow and those warmer temperatures, not too much of an issue for us. And speaking of those temperatures, take a look at these. We're at 50 right now in Saginaw and Flint. A lot of the other areas in those mid to upper 40s in the thumb a little bit on the cooler side. There is a little bit more snow still left there in the thumb and then more a lot of that snow left across the north uh, really stuck in those lower 40s to upper 30s for us. We do continue to warm as we head into the rest of the evening hours ahead of some rain chances for tomorrow. Notice here that we are dry as we head into the rest of this evening. Once we get into the morning hours though, that's when we start to add in some rain chances. We're looking at 6 a.m. here. You can see rain chances for our US 127 communities. Eventually that will shift off to the east as we go into the later portions of the morning. As that happens, we also see our winds change from the southerly direction to a westerly direction. So we're going to start pulling in some more of that cooler air. You can see that here in our temperatures in the 40s across the west, and eventually they'll continue uh, to uh, move into the rest of mid-Michigan as we go into the rest of the day. And all of us now into the 40s as we move into the evening hours. Now, as far as the rain chances for tomorrow, Again, starts in the west and transitions to the east, but I think we end up with the rain being mostly confined to the thumb and then down towards the uh, west or eastern end, uh, edges there of the Tri-Cities and eventually down to Flint. So a few stray showers possible in the Tri-Cities for tomorrow, but I do think most of it is confined to the thumb and down to Flint there. And uh, the rest of mid-Michigan should be mostly dry. You can kind of see that line setting up there for who sees that rain as we go forward. The seven-day forecast does keep those warmer temperatures for us. I think we're mostly in the 30s for much of the day on Saturday, touching the 40 degree mark there. And then we have the low 40s for Sunday, back into the low to mid 40s for Monday, potentially adding another 10 degrees or more to that as we go into Tuesday, those mid 50s. But it does look like we should cool down as we go to the end of next week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.